I've been to ROA training and I've done my skipper's licenses, ROA Yacht Master, and even after all the theory and after all those practical miles and miles that you have to do, I still didn't know how to sail a catamaran. <laughs> So this is going to be a series on how I learned how to sail Sisu. I did my engine checks and I think we are ready to cast off. So when we're going to cast off, we need to look at a couple of things. First of all, you need to look at the wind. So if you look at the wind here, You can see that the flags are not really moving and my Windex is not even running. So, no wind. It is actually a very perfect condition for us to do this video, um, which also is the perfect conditions that you guys need to do when you start off with things like this. Because then you know exactly what the boat is doing when you're applying any of the throttles or any of the control surfaces like the rudders um, and that is actually the perfect conditions so try to get onto a boat when it is like this and then you can actually slowly maneuver the engines and see what's happening without actually fearing that the wind or the currents or anything is going to to affect you we in the corner corner of the <coughs> of the marina we next to next to a lift <laughs> But look at the water, you will also see nothing is actually moving. See the grass and the debris from the storm that is just floating there, doing absolutely nothing. They're not moving. So that also means there's no current. So we are pretty cool with the current and the wind. I think that you, the next step before you start the engines, is that if there was any wind or any current or anything like this, this will also be playing part of the consideration. But for us, there's no wind, no current. But still, I need to figure out which line I'm going to keep on last. The line that I'm going to keep on last is the one that I first need to prepare because all the other lines are now, are now fastened. You can see this. There's actually a spring line, two spring lines, a stern spring line, and then also a breast line or midships line and then we got at the back also spring lines so there's a lot of lines keeping Sisu here where she is at this moment so taking the current into consideration taking the wind into consideration you need to know where the wind is going to push you what the cat will be able to do in those wind conditions or even in a stream remember water is always more powerful than air so if there's a current it will take you most of the time <coughs> unless there's a gale wind blowing which maybe then you don't want to get out of the marina so what am i going to do first in this perfect conditions i think i'm going to swing sisu out like this so i'm going to say all right i'm going to take sisu like this so i'm going to keep this line here so this is my first line that i need to prepare and you can see there's a lot <coughs> of things here so i need to make sure that that line is the only one so we're going to swing sisu on this line like this so we need to make sure that this line even if the bow is going that direction that the bow will not get hurt or damaged or anything like that there is a wooden thing but there is a piece of iron stainless steel which will definitely cause damage so we need to make sure and I see there is also a line going into the water hopefully it's deep enough so that we don't get <laughs> get it in the props ok so let's prepare this line first for slip because that that line is the line that's going to be the last one on the boat. I'm going to start the engine so long so that I heat up. <laughs> 